What's going on, YouTube? So I'm back and I'm answering questions, baby. Don't worry about the daggone shirt. I know it ain't ironed, but it's cool. Um, it's a little wrinkle, so don't 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 uh, don't come at my neck about my shirt being wrinkled. But um, this is a friend of mine. Like I said, I like to try to support people when I can. I believe in uh, supporting and helping people and connecting people. This is her foundation. It's called the Maurice. Rush Foundation. I actually need to get the newer shirt. She has a, um, a black shirt that's dope um, that I want to get. Um, but the foundation is around autism. Her son has autism. And uh, this is like the, the puzzle pieces. And this is like a silhouette of his face. It's decent, right? I'd be like, damn, she hooked this up. So um, nonetheless, I'm back. As you guys know, I am a self-published author. Uh, my name is Devon. And what I do, I, I've been... I started self-publishing in around 2012. Like I said in my uh, journey to become a self-published author videos, if you haven't watched them, go over to my YouTube page, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like to uh, know when I upload. And uh, just yeah, subscribe to the channel and hopefully the videos that I'm making will help you out. Um, I know there's a lot of videos out here in the YouTube land around publishing, self-publishing, because like I said, the, the industry started kind of booming. And like, I would say like the early, like 2010, it kind of really started kind of starting to, it was like fresh at the beginning with the self-publishing industry where a lot of people wasn't, they weren't, sorry, they weren't, they weren't doing it yet. However, it kind of boomed now um, where a lot of people are doing it. So nonetheless, I want to touch on a question today around the self-publishing industry that I, that people asked me about. So this probably... Might be a long video. Well, it probably won't be a long video because, like I told you guys before, excuse me, on YouTube, if you don't, um, if you don't have a lot of subscribers, you got to have at least over a certain amount of subscribers and viewership in order to make longer videos. And so, all my videos that I'm making, they will be sliced uh, to go within that time frame that I have for for YouTube. So, uh, if you guys want me to make longer videos, remember, all you got to do is subscribe, and you have to watch, comment, please. Uh, because this will help me make longer videos that hopefully will help you guys in the end. Um, but nonetheless, so this video today is touching on the subject of what do I do? So I had a question come up on Facebook. It was around the whole thing of getting your book into Barnes & Nobles. Because I, I made a video, if you guys don't know, about how to get your book into Barnes & Nobles as a self-published author and do a local Barnes & Nobles event. And so a young lady had actually put on the post... She had asked the question, like, how do I go about, you know what, matter of fact, let me read the question so I don't get it wrong. So I'm going to get my cell phone here real quick, y'all. And I'm going to read the question because I don't want to get it wrong and I want to make sure I answer correctly. And um, so let me do it real quick. Excuse, uh, excuse me. I, I apologize for pulling this up in the midst of creating this video. But I just want to make sure I get the question right because I don't want to um, mess up the question. And then it's hard for you guys to get the answer to the question. And like I said, I might not know the answer to the question. However, I can kind of lead you down that path to hopefully get the correct answer. So the whole thing about the videos that I make is to answer questions that I might know because I, I experienced it or to answer um, things that I know of or stuff like that that can kind of help you or assist you to make it happen. So uh, she had asked the question of... Maybe she deleted the question. Maybe she might have deleted the question. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I got to make sure I get the question. I want to make sure you get the question. She said, Great. Uh, I think she might have deleted the question. Oh, wait. No, here it is. All right. It said, uh, I would like to know. I would like to know how can I get my book into Barnes and Noble since my book is published with a publisher? And so... With that question, I, I basically wrote her back and I said, hey, and I put her name. I don't want to put her name on YouTube because I don't want to uh, put anyone on blast without their knowledge. But I said, uh, hey, reach out to your publisher. They should be able to speak more about that with you. And then I asked her, who do you currently use to publish your books? And she said, it's a publishing company I will not use again. That's what she said. So uh, I don't know who she uses. But, um, but nonetheless... I always tell people when they ask me, like when they give me that question, because a lot of what I do, like I told people, I was a self-published author. I started a company based off of self-publishing. Now I help other authors outside of still uh, creating things. I, I also help other authors get, uh, make money on their books, you know? 
And it's the whole thing of making money. Like, you, we could create something, but we need to see if we can make income with what we, what, with what we create. We don't just want to be creating, creating, creating and not making no income. So what I do now is I help people with do videos or, uh, or um, getting them into events or into schools to make money off of what they're doing, you know? Everyone is um, creating books nowadays. However, everyone is not making uh, that much of a residual or a, a big heavy income. And, you know, I'm not saying that I personally uh, make a lot of money, and I'm not saying that I can personally make you a lot of money. However, I could, I can. What I do, I can add extra money into your pocket. So, nonetheless, with that question that she's asking me about, I like I said, I wrote back to her. I said, like, who is your publisher? So I wanted her to. Um, because every publisher, when you have a publisher, they work different. So you, if you, if you go, so let me take it back. I'm gonna take you into different publishing companies, and then I'm actually gonna make a video outside, another video that you can uh, click on that's gonna talk about one of these publishing companies. Uh, I mean, one of these publishing ways. So I'm, a, I'm just gonna break it down into three categories, right, for this question. I'm gonna break it down into self-publishing uh, slash independent. I'm going to break it down into traditional publishing and I'm going to break it down into vanity publishing. So again, I'm not an expert in everything. This is just through my experience. So there might be other videos out there telling you guys other things, but um, this is all based off of my experience. So please don't beat me up when I say the things that I say because this is based off of my experience and my knowledge from what I've been through. So uh, we all have, like, again, we all have different paths. We all go through, through different things. So people know different information. And then you take from other people and you put it together and you create your own information. But uh, so self-publishing, when it comes to getting your book into Barnes and Nobles, uh, like, again, I have a video that's called How to Get Your Book into Barnes, How to Do a Barnes and Nobles Event as a Self-Publishing Author. Just go through my YouTube page, click on that, that uh, video. It'll tell you how to do that. Um, but you could go through that and if you have uh, if you utilize Ingram spark you can go through the 55% trade if you use um, KP KPD uh, buy your ISBN number buy your ISBN number buy your own ISBN number uh, Self published that way. It'll be POD. However, you become the publishing your own publishing company You can then buy your books and then you can set up 60 40 uh, consignment deals at uh, Barnes and Nobles or local publishing our local uh, bookstores, and uh, and then they'll go from there. They'll let you know if they can do it, if they can't do it, um, but they should be able to do it. Um, but like I said, things shift as time goes by. You have your vanity publishing that I'm actually gonna make a separate video on vanity publishing, but uh, in the publishing world, you guys probably know this because there are a lot of forums and groups out there around vanity publishing. So vanity publishing is like the uh, companies like Exebris, Ex I don't know, I always say their name wrong, but I think it's Exebris or, or Exebris, something like that. Um, vanity companies like companies like that, in which they, they charge you to to do all the work and then they'll, 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 um, they'll charge you to, to publish your book, they'll charge you with the editing, with the illustrations, with the writing, um, they'll charge you with like a package deal, like they'll have different packages set up. They'll say this is thirteen thousand, this is fourteen thousand. You pay in in increments on like a payment plan if you can't afford it up front. They get that payment from you, I believe, every month. Like I don't know, I've never did vanity publishing, but I do know of vanity publishing because I've worked with other authors who have uh, done vanity publishing. I don't particularly like vanity publishing, and I'll talk about another video more in depth, and and I'll talk more in depth about vanity publishing in another video. I don't like it. Uh, the next, the another, the other category I said is traditional publishing. So what? Uh, so hold on, sorry. So let me go back to vanity publishing because the whole the whole question is about how do you get your books into the Barnes and Nobles if you went through a publisher. So I, I'm not sure, but I feel like this this lady might have went through a vanity publisher. Uh, she didn't get specific on the comments. But uh, with vanity publishing, you just have to call up that publishing company and you have to see what their rules are when it comes to uh, getting the book into Barnes & Nobles. So I believe Exebris, Exebris, I'm saying the name wrong, don't beat me up. Um, and you guys can, co can correct me in the comments below and or crack on me, <laughs> I don't know. But um, they, I know because I worked with an, I worked with an author who, who um, printed through that particular company that is considered vanity publishing. Um, you have to call them up and they do allow you to do 
the Barnes Nobles um, through them. So you could actually call the Barnes Nobles up and the Barnes Nobles, the staff should be able to actually look inside their computer system and let you know that your book is available to be brought into the store and actually have a local author event. Um, if it can't, I would suggest you call that particular publishing company, uh, your independent publishing company, your vanity publishing company, and actually ask them how to go about that deal. Um, I know sometimes it's a fee that you got to pay them, I think, to make sure they, they change over which, how's your book, how your book is available to different um, vendors or outlets. Um, don't quote me on that. I'm just, like I said, everything is through my experience. I just know that when I was trying to get a young lady in before, she went through this particular company, which I'm talking about, Ex Libris, Ex Libris, I don't know how to say it. But, um, and I had to, we called the Barnes & Noble to make sure she, to try to get her into an event as a local author. And they said that she had, it was a fee in which that company needed her to pay before she could make it happen. As far as, I guess, like a printing fee or some type of fee that they wanted her to pay. I didn't get enough clarity off of it, so I don't want to sit here and tell you guys certain things that I didn't get enough clarity off of. Again, this is all based off of my experience and hopefully I can help you with this knowledge. But um, we had she had to pay something. I don't know with them. Um, however, going forward, she's now, now I got her in like all these Barnes & Nobles. She's doing an event like every month, so. Uh, she probably know who she is through this video, but nonetheless, that's that's a way in which you have to go to it. So if you're going through a vanity publishing, if you're going through an uh, independent publishing company uh, or a publishing company that someone else has started up, um, you would contact that publisher and ask them if you first contact the Barnes Nobles. If the Barnes Nobles said you have to go as a fee or something about the publishing company, contact your publishing company and talk to them about that and see if they can make that happen. Uh, nine times out of ten, if you're going through a publishing company, they shouldn't be using PO, P, POD um, sites, which is print on demand. They shouldn't be using that. They should actually be using a printing source. Um, they might be outsourcing printing from China or from uh, Viet Vietnamese or maybe Africa or Canada. or even They might even be printing within the States of America, but you want to talk to them, but they shouldn't be going through PODs. Um, but I don't know. Like People are setting up all these vanity publishing companies and companies now. So I don't know how people are doing it. I don't know if they're just buying ISBN numbers and they're just going and creating publishing companies. I don't know. Uh, 